Do you see how nice I look when I actually make an effort in my appearance? and welcome back to my channel it's Juliana and I'm here with a Harry Potter theme video magical Monday so today I will be doing obviously the basic Harry Potter video a Harry Potter tag yay also I'm a lot calmer from last week because I didn't have coffee. So I'm here, my handy dandy elder wand. I hope no one tries to murder me for it. Why did I wink? No, I don't want anyone to murder me for it at all. And I'm sporting my own homemade Ravenclaw ears, which will be available on my Etsy shop that I need to stop procrastinating and put up. Like it's up and everything, but there's nothing in the shop. I promise I'll get that to you guys very, very soon, and I'll let you know. So I'll be selling Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Gryffindor ears, along with other Harry Potter ears, and other ears. And also not just ears, other stuff as well. They have like a R and a heart, and a little eagle that I did. And then the Deathly Hallows sign on the back, and the Harry Potter glasses and scar. I'm actually really proud of these ears. They're like one of the best I've ever made, so. They're all hand stitched and sewn by me. So I put a lot of love in each and every one of them. And I hope you guys visit my Etsy shop and maybe buy some stuff. Thanks. <laughs> so it's time to stop self-promoting and jump into the video. What's my favorite book? Ooh, I don't know, that's so hard. Jeez, they're all so good. Um, I'm rereading them with Little Girl I Babysit, so it's fun to reload that. Um, why do I keep winking? It's like I'm insinuating something, but I'm literally not. I just, I can't control my eyes. Anyway, my favorite book, The Order of the Phoenix. Like, it's the longest book, and I love to read. I've always loved to read. I feel the most during that book, and that's usually why it takes me so long to read. When I was in, I started reading in fifth grade, I didn't finish it for a while because I just put it down because I was feeling so much. Like, I felt Harry's angst throughout that entire book and God, he was unbearable. Hermione was also very unbearable. I remember that her being like the main reason why I couldn't like keep reading. Like the whole thing with trying to free the, the house elves of Hogwarts. It's just a lot, but I love that book. But I also don't like that book that much because Least favorite book? I think maybe I'm rereading them, so I don't know. Maybe the l last one? I don't know. I'll reread all of them again and then let you know. Right now, it's kind of like staring towards like one of the earlier books. I don't know. I don't know, ma'am. I don't know. Favorite movie? So easy, so simple. Number six, The Half-Blood Prince. Oh, love The Half-Blood Prince so much. Just, oh, that's the perfect movie to just snuggle to, you know? I haven't snuggled to it, so I wouldn't really know, but it just seems like the perfect movie to snuggle to. It's so dark and gloomy, and the music. God, don't even get me started on the music. Oh god, The Half-Blood Prince is so good. Least favorite movie. Um, gotta give it to number two, The Chamber of Secrets. Uh, I think because I watched it when I was like really young and the spider scenes like scared me. I'm pretty sure it scarred me for life. I don't know, something about the first two, maybe it was because it was directed by Chris Columbus. No disrespect towards him at all. It's just, they're really, um, old. And I don't mean like old because they were made a long time ago. I mean like they literally look old. Like they look... <laughs> they look dusty, like a, a big old dusty book compared to a bunch of newer books, you know? 
and I feel like one and two are just so like similar in the way that they're shot and how they speak and I'm like giving you the filmmaker aspect of why I don't like the first two but I don't know they're just so not the others favorite quote my favorite quote actually comes from the movie it comes from one of my like least favorite movies not one or two but like it comes from number five every great wizard in history started out as nothing more than we are now students if they can do it why not us <sighs> let me explain why i love this quote so much i oh god i'm about to go so deep no reason i really like resonate with that you know when i was like doing film as like a teenager i was like oh this is never gonna get anywhere whatever whatever i like thought about all the great directors and actresses and screenwriters out there i'm just like they started off where i am if they can do it why can't i i feel the same way about youtube you know i see all these amazing harry potter youtubers and disney youtubers and just like youtubers in general like they all started out with like 30 subscribers and now they're at like hundreds of thousands and millions if they can do it why not me you know and so i love that quote okay. favorite weasley first of all how dare you second of all why why? Why couldn't you just say like favorite character or something? Why do you gotta section it off? The Weasleys, man, you can't divide the Weasleys. I swear I'm not just saying this because he died. It's always been Fred. Like I've always loved Fred. Cause he was just like, I don't know, he's so like flirty and like cute. I love Fred. So Fred, I promise I'm not being biased just cause he's dead. Favorite female character? Mm, this is this isn't fair. This isn't a fun thing. <laughs> Favorite female character? Um, it's not Hermione because I had to. It, it took me a while to start liking Hermione. I just I don't know. It's something about like that know-it-all. I don't like that. I don't like it. Like if you want to go to Hogwarts and learn everything you can, good. You should. I would do that. Don't. Be a about it. I love Luna. Ravenclaw gang. Let's put this. You're just the same as I am. Love her. I love, love Luna. I think there was one time when I was in like sixth or seventh grade, I changed my name on Facebook to Luna Lovegood and then it wouldn't let me. Favorite male character. Sirius Black. Like, hands down. If there was like, I don't know why there has been yet, a question that was just like favorite character serious black serious black that's it he's just <laughs> serious god daddy <laughs> if you get what i mean see that that was an intentional wink Ooh, favorite villain gotta give it to bellatrix the strange she is the baddest out there i mean like oh she's bad she's so terrible i mean like She's bad! Like, you go ahead, Bellatrix. We stand a dark queen. She's like one of those villains that, no matter how hard you try, no matter what she's done, you can't hate her. Yeah, she's done some god-awful things. And she got what she deserved, but I don't know, I love Bella. Favorite professor? Do they mean like teaching skill or like personality? I gotta give both to Professor Lupin, even though he's only there for a year. All of them have only been there for a year when it comes to the Fence Against the Dark Arts. And I also have to give props to Mad-Eye Moody, or I guess Barty Crouch Jr. Because despite being a Death Eater, he taught those kids! Fred and George literally said it was life-changing, their first class with him. At least he did his job, and he did it well. One of those two. Lupin was a great teacher, you know, he was fun, he was that teacher that you like make up your own handshake with. Barty Crouch was like, I'm gonna teach you this, I know it's dark, but you gotta learn this anyway. And that's literally what Harry did the year after, so both of them were really great teachers, even though at one point they both tried to kill Harry. Wash Snape's hair or spend a day listening to Lockhart rant about himself? Well, I'm not touching Snape's hair unless I'm literally grabbing him by the roots and just, you know, that whole nother question, I don't like Severus Snape. 
Um, pretty sure he's burning wizard hell right now, as he should, you know, for all of eternity. Enjoy that. You will never have Lily Potter. That's it. I'm gonna listen to Lockhart write about himself. Like, okay. Once I like really don't care about something, my body automatically just tones it out, and I can't hear them. So I'm not I'm not touching Snape unless I'm beating his ass. So. Duel an elated Bellatrix or an angry Molly? People have fought Bellatrix and come out of it alive. Anyone who like truly fought Molly has died. Why on earth would I want to fight Mrs. Weasley? She's like the sweetest, most gentlest mommy there is. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to fight her. But I also don't want to fight Bellatrix because I'm probably not gonna. I don't want to fight anyone. I get really panicky and I would accidentally utter the killing curse and then I'd spend the rest of my life in Azkaban because of an accident. Because you guys make me choose between these characters who can both kill me. So it's like the Hunger Games, you gotta kill or be killed. But if I kill, I'll be in Azkaban. But if I am killed, I'm dead. I don't want to fight either of them. Travel to Hogwarts via Hogwarts Express or flying car. Um, Hogwarts Express, duh, the flying car sounds god-awful. Like, I don't like heights, so I'm not, I'm not doing that. Voldemort or give Umbridge a bubble bath? I'm not, not giving Umbridge a bubble bath. Like, do I have to stay there and like, bathe her or do I just like, run her a bath? Am I Voldemort? Do you mean like, literally like, Voldemort Voldemort? Like, no hair, no nose, split tongue Voldemort? Or do you mean like, 16 year old Tom Riddle because... But I'd also- I wouldn't mind kissing Voldemort. No, I would. He doesn't have any lips, so... Yeah. Um, I'd run Umbridge a bubble bath, and then leave her in there to die. Ride a hippogriff, or ride a firebolt? I don't want to do either of these! They sound awful! I don't like heights, and you can literally fall to your death. Is there a character you felt differently about in the movie than in the book? We can all agree that movie Ginny sucks. Like she is, she's terrible. Book Ginny, great. Movie Ginny, bad. Is there a movie you preferred over the books? No. Richard Harris or Michael Gambon for Dumbledore? Gambon, definitely. He did a great job being Dumbledore, and I just prefer him over Richard Harris. It's going back to what I said about the first two movies, how they just feel very old. I think he has a very huge part in that. Your top thing, person, or event that wasn't included in the movies. We can all agree that, like, Peeves, like, he had to be in the movie, right? Like, if you could remake any of the Harry Potter movies, which would it be? As a filmmaker... <laughs> no, I don't think I would. I don't... Maybe I'll remake the first two, make them better. I feel no need to remake the movies, because I wouldn't be doing anything to them except making them longer to get more of the plot in there. Which house was your first gut feeling that you were in? I've always known I was a Ravenclaw. Like, I've always known that even before I took the Pottermore test. I relate to Luna too well. I'm such a bookworm and I love reading and writing and all that stuff. And I love like quirky things and quizzes and puzzles and riddles, all that stuff. I love it. Which house were you actually sorted to on Pottermore? Which natural class would be your favorite? I think charms. You know, to learn the incantations and the choreography for one swish and flick Wingardium Leviosa yeah I think charms would be nice which spell do you think would be most useful to learn like Accio like do you know how many times I just want to like get something but I'm in my bed just freaking Accio phone charger <laughs> got it Accio sandwich from the fridge <laughs> got it just I would never have to move character do you feel you would instantly become friends with? I think with Luna, because we're just so extraordinary. 
I'll use that word. Yeah. We're just so alike. We're both in Ravenclaw. And I think we just like spend our days learning about magical creatures and stuff. If you could own one of the Hallows, which would it be? I already have the Elder Wand. So I guess I gotta give it to the Invisibility Cloak because, hello, obviously. Do you know how much stuff I can get away with? Like, I would literally just go and rob banks. I would, like, get on flights for free and sit in first class. I would sneak into amusement parks, like Universal, Disney, whatever. I would just, I guess I would commit crime if I had <laughs> the invisibility cloak. Is there any aspect of the books that you'd want to change? Nope. Favorite Marauder. Obviously it's Sirius Black. Like it's, it's obviously Sirius Black. There's no competition. If you can bring one character back to life, who would it be? I feel obligated to say Sirius because he's my favorite character. Bring back Fred because he died really young um and george never recovered from it those or horcruxes i don't really need to be master of death horcruxes you have to kill people and i'm not down to kill anyone i don't really want to live forever unless like the whole squad can live forever <laughs> i'm not gonna make new friends and obviously want my family to be there with me so if I were to make a horcrux, I wouldn't do something stupid as hell like Voldemort did and make them something personal to me. Like, I would make it a penny and then, like, throw it into, like, a thing full of pennies. Like, you're never gonna find that horcrux. Or, like, take a pebble and throw it into the ocean. Like, into the middle of the ocean. Just feel like Voldemort wanted to die. Like, if he honestly wanted to, like, live forever, he could have. But he wanted to do stupid sh make things personal, and then was shocked when they all came crumbling down. That's that. Oh, I didn't answer the question. Um, I guess Hallows, if I had to choose, because I don't really want to kill anyone. I don't, really, don't want to kill anyone at all. That's it. Thank you so much for fangirling with me. I will be back next Monday with another video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Love you. Bye. Knock.